I wrote this in regards to the Justina Pelletier case, um, <clears throat> and specifically a ABC uh, news article that was um, posted a day or two ago online. I wrote this in the comments section. Um, I'd like to read it to everybody now who's willing to listen. There we go. The time has come for people to rise up against this system. The governor has been getting thousands of phone calls. DCF has been getting phone calls by the thousands. The courts by the thousands. I have called the Suffolk County Courthouse and told them this kind of treatment will cause the citizenry to rise up against them. And if I had the means, I would gladly take part in removing the, ch the removing of the child from their custody by force. I was told by told my name would be given to DHS and state police and my phone number. At this point, I told that tyrannical fuck my exact words to go right ahead. And I and many like me don't care. And this has to stop. To this point, this is the point we are at. The government is killing children, slowly, in parentheses, and stealing them from families. 134 children are currently lost in the DCF system. They can't be located. In the past year, 94 have died in the care of Massachusetts DCF. We can no longer allow this to continue and to call ourselves honorable men or principled. I have trouble sleeping at night knowing this is happening. I live in California and don't possess the means to go to Boston and gather together a group that, to do something. However, I put the standing offer on the table to, do, to someone with the means to give it a start. I would, I would willingly go at the drop of a hat and leave everything behind to stand in the gap. This must stop. It must end. Tyranny and oppression must be met with force of will. This case is one small example of our country's slow death. I hear people say we need to pick the hill we die on, but damn it, too many hills have gone unfought and the battles are no longer to be picked and chosen. A wall must be erected, even if it is made of the bodies of patriots. It is the only way this issue of absolute corruption will be forced to the front in a way the biased media cannot twist and ignore. When the lives of good men are stacked at the foot of the liberty tree, it will bloom again. The media can destroy men one by one, but when good men stand together, even when it costs them the ultimate price, the media cannot taint that. The people will know it is a lie, and they will try to know it is a lie when they try to destroy a group of good men. The truth will come out. Damn it, this and every hill is worth dying on. Freedom is not for sale, my principles have no price on them. Do yours. It is time to stand for your truth while you still can. I fear if we do not do it. We are guaranteed to die in vain for it later. Thank you for listening. I believe that to my core. My very essence of my being, I hold that true. All battles are worth fighting. Too long have we picked and chose what hill we died on and left too many.